it's Kristen and I have a little bit of a haul for you guys today. I am uh, um, doing, trying to do hauls just like once a month maybe. Um, so these are all of the things that I have accumulated in the month of January. And yeah, so that's what's happening. I might do, with this first one I'm, I'm going to show you, I might do a get ready with me um, video to get up tomorrow. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. And I would include that MAC, Vino, and Prevent lip combo I've talked about in that video, I think. So at any rate, at any rate, this is the It Cosmetics. I purchased this myself on um, QVC. It was a today's special value. And it comes with five different items in here. And it was called the Your Most Beautiful Skin Five Piece Collection. So the first thing that's in here is their CC cream, but in a in this sort of form. And I don't even know what to call it because you take off this little thing right here and then you click this button and it comes up. So I ordered this one in fair. You guys know that I had had the light in the CC cream and it was just still too dark for me. So I went ahead and got the fair. And one of my subscribers told me that this is like refillable or something. I'm, I'm not sure on that, but at any rate. And it also came with, I think this might be the thing I'm most excited about. I'm not sure, but <laughs> the CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. And again, mine is in the color Fair, so those are colored. And I haven't played with this at all, so it is in a, it's pressed. I don't know why in my head I thought it wasn't going to be pressed, but anyway. Let's just see what the what the coverage would be in that. Oh, there's some decent pigmentation to that. Oh, that's really nice. It's kind of creamy. So, I really am excited to kind of play with this. I've had this for a long time and I haven't played with it yet because I haven't hauled it yet. You guys know how I am about that sort of thing. And then it came with a CCI color correcting full coverage cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum who doesn't want to try that so it's a little and I think it has a metal yep metal thing right there and also in the shade fair and it came with the if you can still get this kit I don't know if you can you might be able to still get it just not at the price that it was but I will link it below if you can um, the CC plus blurred line smooth fill lipstick and it's in the shade Love, which I feel like the gloss that I have. Let's just look, shall we? Yeah, the CC Plus gloss that I have is in Love as well. So it looks like a pretty sheer. I had to do that a bunch of times to get that. So we shall see. And then the last thing that it came with is a brush. And it looks exactly like the brush that I got not all that long ago. Yeah, so it looks a lot like the one that I bought not that long ago, the Airbrush Complexion Perfection Brush, the number 115 from Ulta. And this one is called the CC Angled Buffing Foundation. So that's what they look like. And let's just see. They feel similar, but I feel like this one maybe is just a little bit more dense than that one, but they feel very similar. I have all of my brushes over here because I am working on doing a video on those for you guys. So anyway, that's the kit. Let me know if you guys want to see it. Get ready with me with those things and then a few other things. So if you saw my Thursday video, you already know that I purchased this. <laughs> this is the Lorac Gold. Um, and I, I like this. I said in the video that I like it. I feel like the, the mattes in this are the same quality as the Lorac um, Unzipped. But I feel like the the kind of metallic -y or shimmery ones aren't just quite the same. They're not quite on par and they sometimes are a little bit flaky so I'm not sure. But I do I do really like this. And it also came with a primer which will go in my giveaway pile because I do not like that primer. I totally forgot to mention that in my in my four looks one palette video. If you missed the four looks with that video I will link that below for you as well. Alright so I don't know what has been going on with me as far as all of a sudden I'm into nail polish. I, I tend to blend to blame my nail polish friends. Um, <laughs> the people whose videos that I watch. But anyway, um, let's just, can you hear all of the ones I'm pulling out of this bag? I mean, good gracious. Okay, so some of these I have used and some of them I have not. The first one is the, I think this is some new collection. That's the thing that, I mean, move my bag out of the way. That's the thing that you kind of find with me is that I don't really know what collection or if they're permanent or 
I apologize. <laughs> this is the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in Green Light. It's a really interesting. I have not used that one yet. This one I just showed in my favorites. It's the Sinful Colors in Pink Smart. I saw this on Karina Kaboom's channel. And uh, I thought, oh, that's so, such a pretty pink. And I really like this. And this one is opaque in two coats. I've started adding that if I know if they're opaque in X amount of coats or, what, or not. Because a lot of the nail polish people that I watch say that. And so I find that to be helpful. Um, another one that I picked up. I, this I don't know if this is left over from Christmas. But I love this formula. So what Wild Mega Last. And this is the, it's in Rouge 66. By the way, if I sound a little more stuffed up than normal, I think I'm getting sick. <clears throat> I'm trying not to. Anyway, this is the Sally Hansen Patent Gloss. I didn't hear anybody talk about this. I just thought it was a really pretty kind of navy blue, cross between a navy blue and a royal blue color. And I don't know anything about these polishes. And it has just a normalish brush, a little bit thicker. And then I, this is another one I saw on Karina's channel. This is the Sally Hansen Hardest Nails Extreme Wear in Big Teal. This is kind of like a Tiffany blue, I think. I, it's really pretty. So the manicure that I wore that with, I actually used this Sally Hansen Luxe Lace in Eyelet over the top of it. So pretty. I have a picture of that. I'll insert it as well. And then I, I picked up this one as well when I picked up, when I, when I bought the eyelet, I bought this one as well. So I'm trying to say it's an intimate and I've not used that one yet. And then lastly, I just grabbed this yesterday when I was at Walmart. I didn't even know sinful colors had, or Walmart had sinful colors. It was just on an end thing, but I generally have learned that I don't, I don't really love the chunky glitter. I like a little more fine glitter. So this is the sinful colors in queen of beauty. And it's just a really pretty, um, small silver glitter. I think it's in a clear base. Yeah, we're going to go with clear base. <laughs> so a couple of lip products from the drugstore. And what's interesting is I've been in Walgreens a lot lately, hence the multiple polishes, because I've been on the search for this L'Oreal polish in Ma the Masked Affair or Masked Affair. Not sure if it's the or just Mastifer. At any rate, it's a really cool like holographic polish. And I don't have any holographic polishes. It just looked really cool, but I cannot. <laughs> I'm stalking the Walgreens. Um, okay, so I while I was in there, I thought I would try these. The wet and I've not tried them. I just took them out of the plastic. The Wet and Wild by Fergie Velvet Matte Lip Colors, and so they're pencils like this, and they twist up like that. And this one is in the shade Pinky Candy. I gotta say, I expected it to be a little bit more. That's like three or four times. We'll see. And then the other one is in Plum Genou. So, looks like that. That one seems to have a little more pigment to it. Right there. So we'll see. I'll play, play around with those a little bit and let you know. I placed an order on Sephora. I cannot remember... If this this might have been the reason why I did it. So, uh, my friend Wendy and also uh, Vanessa from Lipstick Vanessa have been talking about the Sephora CC cream, and it's just in the one shade, and it was on sale. I want to say for like nine dollars, something like that. Um, and let's just see. It doesn't really say much aside from the fact that it's SPF twenty. So, looks like that. Colors kind of blend together. I don't want to blend it completely out so that you can kind of see. So we'll, we shall see. I haven't played with it yet, of course, because I haven't hauled it. You're not going to be able to see because I have swatches on my hand, but I really, that's interesting. I really feel like it kind of gave my hand a little more even and sort of perfected look to it. Interesting. So one other thing, actually I got two other things when I purchased the CC cream. Uh, this was a recommendation from a subscriber. I don't remember her name. I'm, I'm sorry. But this is from Anastasia. And it's the Lash, Lash Genius Clear Waterproof Top Coat. So let's just take a gander. Just looks like that. And... The reason I wanted to try this is because I know I have some mascaras that have transferred on me in the past in my collection. Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill, um, the Chanel 
La Volume de Chanel. I have some new ones of those that I know have transferred on me before, and so I want to try this and see if that will work to stop them from transferring. So, because I like how the I like the formulas, I like how my lashes look. I don't, however, like the little black dots that I get. And the other thing that I got during that online purchase was in the NARS sale section or the sales section, wh whatever. They had one of their duos and upside right, please. And this is the one in Demon Lover. I don't know again if this was from a collection or what, but the colors looked interesting to me. Particularly this kind of deep purple eggplant one. I haven't even swatched them yet, so look like that. And I don't know if it's still on there or not. They are both matte. Or they might be satin. I can't I can't exactly tell, but anyway, they look like that. And I thought they just kind of might be fun to play with a little bit. And I believe that is all that I bought from Sephora, those three things this this month. One other thing I wanted to show you guys, to, I wanted to see if you were interested in me doing any kind of a video with this. And this actually was a gift for me from a subscriber. And it's funny because I had gone back and forth trying to decide whether I was going to get any of these kits that are out there. <laughs> and of all of them, this is the one that intrigued me the most. And um, it was a sweet gift from my, my friend Vicki. So this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light. Is it Shade, Light, Shade and Light? Shade and Light. I have just kind of swatched them a little bit. I haven't really played with them all that much, but this is, I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times. So curious if you guys want me to do any sort of a demo with with this. I mean, not, not being a makeup artist, but being more of a your everyday girl and will this kind of work for your everyday girl? I'm just curious if, if you want me to do that. I mean, I could, I could incorporate it if I do get ready with me tomorrow, but I wouldn't have played with it enough to really you know, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to give a fair sort of review, but. And that, my friends, is everything that I have purchased in the month of January. I am not, you know, I am toning things down a little bit in my world. <laughs> you will still see a haul from me monthly. I do have a couple of things that I know that are coming in. Um, a new palette that I ordered from Camp Cosmetics, and I can't remember, I think I maybe have one other thing, but this weekend I'm actually taking some stuff back to to Sephora and I have a couple things on my list but I will save those and like I said I'm going to try to just two hauls once a month for you guys so at any rate on my face today very very simple I just have the uh, my contacts Ooh, we're not having it in my eyes today so hence the glasses um, the Estee Lauder Enlightened EE -E cream I have that all over and then I have my Camp Cosmetics take two R1 look at I hit pan all over my face and on my cheeks today, I used the Benefit Hervana. Pulled that, pulled that out. I haven't used that in quite some time. Looks like that. And then on my eyes, I used a Dior Quint that Laura sent to me from um, Vitali Style. And this is in Ready to Glow. I have, let me just get this out of here. I have this shade all over my eye. This shade in the crease. And then this kind of on my outer corner. And beneath my lower lash line, I just use a little bit of, I just started playing with this, uh, the Rimmel Scandalize in Trespassing Taupe, just beneath my lower lash line. And I think that is everything except my lips. On my lips, I have the Pure Minerals in Show Off. I really like this color. That Hervana pulls just a little bit kind of purple because of what the, the shades that are in it, because of that kind of, that shade right there. And this looks very, very nice with it, so... All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.